you must see then some opportunities also to have discussions on the conveyor belt side here as well. I know you folk, you've spoken here extensively about the mining ties, but there must be some good opportunities to speak about conveyor belts too. Ab- absolutely. And I've got a great, uh, I've got a couple of mentions in my presentations here. Um, we last, um, just last year, about last year, this time, we actually had a project um, in collaboration with Tech Resources, which is a Canadian mining company, and Fenner Dunlop, which is one of the big um, conveyor producers. So we actually took some of the mining tires from Canada. We devulcanized them through our process. We sent that material to Fenner Dunlop, and Fenner Dunlop was actually able to make uh, a production a production belt that's over a kilometer long. It's um, already in use for a couple of years. It's installed in in Western Canada at a coal mine. And so we've proven that, hey, we can take old tires and turn them into new Mm -hmm. conveyors. And that was honestly, again, that was a little bit before we'd optimized our process even more. So that gives us a lot of hope that, you know, definitely there's options. There's great options. I mean, we're working, um, you know, we try to collaborate with a lot of the people out there. So I definitely see that the conveyor belt is something that um, will be more more realistic to recycle for for people like us going forward. 